And this is what the result of a double-sided coating can look like. We have a lens substrate with selective transmission. The front side coating provides the actual bandpass filter. The back side coating improves transmittance and blocking again. My name is Michael Schneider. I'm in sales for precision optical coating systems at Von Aden. Welcome to my short presentation. I'd like to give you a very brief introduction of our portfolio of precision optical coating systems. Von Aden has an expertise of over 60 years in evaporation technology and more than 45 years in sputter technology. Our portfolio covers solutions for very different requirements in terms of multi-layer capability for interference coatings, optical substrate sizes, and productivity. Let's have a closer look. Von Aden inline tools are known from large area coating for architectural glass and have their strength in throughput. Inline systems for precision optics are smaller and allow coating width of up to one meter for largest precision optical substrates. A variety of coating processes can be used. For example, also high rate sputtering or low damage sputtering. To build a multi-layer stack, the substrates pass or oscillate in front of successive coating sources. By changing the speed profile, the coating rate, or in combination with the subrotation of the substrates, layer thickness gradients can also be realized for wedge-shaped, spherical, aspherical or freeform coatings. In the drum coater, the substrates are placed on a drum that rotates continuously around a vertical axis. The coating is applied from the side. Due to the continuous rotation of the drum, individual layers can be grown in a very controlled manner and a very stable sputtering process can be used, which is known under the term meta mode. The layer thickness precision with a drum coat is good, but remains a bit limited by polygon effects. A special feature here, the drum coater offers automated loading and unloading of the substrates. It can also process large substrates of up to 1.5 meters and has a compact footprint. Iron beam sputtering is characterized by very dense and low defect coatings that are deposited in a lower pressure range and with higher particle energy compared to classic magnetron sputtering. This technology enables extremely precise multilayers, even in very high numbers. Limiting factors are sometimes the high layer stresses generated and the limited productivity of the systems. Within the Von Aden group, Skier Systems develops and builds iron beam sputtering systems. When it comes to most sophisticated filter stacks, then the Opta X is the deposition tool of choice. The Opta X is a magnetron sputtering system with iron assistance based on the principle of a rotary disc. It combines precision optical requirements for maximum layer uniformity, process stability, extreme reproducibility, low defect levels, and productive throughput. Now I would like to give you some more details. This is the Opta X platform. The round circle is a process chamber with a rotary disc in which all the substrates are fixed. The process chamber is subdivided into process areas, symbolized here as pieces of cake in different colors. The process areas can be flexibly configured or later also converted so that the system can be easily adapted to changing coating requirements. Coating areas and the reactive zone with ion source are spatially separated from each other, which ensures an extremely stable and reproducible coating process. Up to three target materials are possible from both sides of the chamber. Tubular cathodes with rotary targets will be used mainly, offering advantages 
in material utilization, we have an optical monitoring. The loading of substrates is automated. For this purpose, there is a transfer chamber with a robot handling to which one or more load locks can be connected. How does the OptaX work? We can see a simplified model of the rotary disk with openings in it for fixing the substrates like wafers or lenses. For the deposition of a multi-stack based on alternating oxide layers, for example, with high and low index of refraction, we have three process units in a sputter-up arrangement. Two dual rotary magnetrons with targets for the high and low index materials and one plasma source for the oxidation. Coating and oxidation zones are separate from each other. By opening the shutters and the continuous rotation of the disk, the single layer grows up. In our example, the high index layer given in green color on the left in the substrate side view. The endpoint and closing of the shutters is controlled by optical monitoring. The growth of the next layer, in our example the oxide layer with low index of refraction, is similar. Now the second sputtering compartment is active together with the ion source for the post-oxidation. The inlet of oxygen at the ion source avoids reactive gas at the magnetron. The advantage, the sputtering process is extremely stable and highly reproducible. A key feature of the system is a process access from both the bottom and the top. This enables that the coating direction can be configured. In addition to sputter up and sputter down, coating on both sides can also be carried out simultaneously. This can save production time. Furthermore, it offers a way to compensate for coating stress on the front and back sides and to avoid substrate deformation. What makes the difference with the OptaX? The OptaX is a platform and can be configured flexibly. It can handle wafers fully automatically for optics on silicon devices or based on ultra-thin glass. There is a configuration for flat substrates or freeform optics up to 40 mm arrow high. And in particular, the OptaX can also handle very heavy substrates with a weight of up to 10 kg. The OptaX can be used to address filter applications from the ultraviolet to the visible and infrared range. A wide selection of target materials is available for this purpose. And the optical monitoring covers the entire wavelength range. As I said before, a very important differentiator is the choice of process direction. Sputter up or sputter down or the combination of both directions for a double-sided coating. And that brings me to the end of the short introduction. Thank you very much and see you next time.